It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Feral Brewing Company and this is a can of their West Coast Double IPA. 18 years of brewing, so their 18 years celebratory beer. It's a double IPA coming in a 375 milliliter can. And the ABV on this beer is... 9% ABV! 9% ABV. Okay, so without further ado, thank you very much, Travis, in Australia, for kindly sending over this can. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. This company, rather strangely, I think, Farrell Brewing Company, are owned by Coca-Cola. Or oh, they were the last conversation I had with a lovely Aussie bloke. Australian craft beer owned by Coca-Cola. Isn't that like... I find it really kind of... Wow. This company could be huge. This company could be huge. If, if Coca-Cola wanted to make this company massive all over the globe, we all know Coca-Cola is in every single shop, in every single town in every single country in the world unbelievable so if, if they wanted to do it coca-cola i'm sure they could make this feral brewing brand a like a, 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 a maybe the next stellar artois or heineken or something like that so we've got a one to two finger white head slow moving carbonation you can see, see I poured the beer, you can see it's rather clear at the bottom. And as you have a look at the top of the glass, it's a little bit more hazy. Amber in colour, slow moving carbonation. Let's get the aroma on the beer then. Cheers everyone. Yeah, classic West Coast style beer. It's got that potency, that hop potency. The Australian beer market fascinates me because they they still enjoy styles of beer which I mean certainly in America it's kind of all gone New England way. Yes, you can get lots of New England beer, New England style beer in Australia. I've had some amazing amazing beers, uh, New England style beers from from Australia, but they they don't mind making a West Coast IPA. They don't mind making a black IPA either. They they kind of almost like respect every style still rather than just following the, the, the lead of, of of what trend is next. Smells good. Orangey, spicy, peppery, grapefruit. A good old fashioned West Coast style IPA. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, I gotta put that down. I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows! Stone the Crows, what a beer! The hops smash you around the chops. As they did 10 years ago when these West Coast stars were massively famous and everybody wanted to brew them. The talk of the town, the West Coast double IPA. That is smashing me around the chops. I can feel all the bitterness kind of building around my throat area here. Inside of the mouth, the tongue. A proper belter of a... Cool, oh, yeah, it's really pushing now. That bitterness is, is carrying on and carrying on. A real bitter beer. So what's happened? The... the um, let me pick the beer back up. Um, what's happened? The... Uh, the way people like to drink beer these days, the IPAs, is they put a lot of the hops um, in the fermenter. And all of them hops like slowly eke their flavours into the beer without the bitterness. The way to brew an old West Coast style IPA, a double IPA in this, in this matter, is chuck a load of hops in the boil kettle. Get them in the boil kettle, 
that astringent bitterness comes through with the flavour. Some more orange, tangerine, grapefruit. Like it's like smashing your face into a into a cutting a grapefruit in half. A little bit of sugar on the grapefruit and smashing your face into a grapefruit. Oh, and just devouring it. That's what I'm getting from this beer. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth as well. There's a little bit of sweetness from the malt. Light, crisp, wafer-like malt flavours. A little bit of stickiness as well. A little bit of stickiness. That's a com combination of the, the medium mouthfeel from the, from the malt. And the, a little bit of stickiness from the hops. You can feel... You can feel the hops on the lips, that little slightly kind of sticky flavour of the hops. It's a, it's a fabulous beer, really is. Um, what better way to celebrate our coming of age than a West Coast double IPA? Uh, heaving with citrus, pine and passion fruit flavour and a heavy malt backbone to complement its dank, bold and bitter. It's distinctively feral. Pretty cool, pretty cool that. Eh? Um, dry hop with, God my eyes are not as, this yellow mine. The, the, the print is really small. Dry hop with, Equinox, I can see some of them. I can't see. Maybe maybe if I can get the camera to zoom in on that writing. Can you see it there? It's the it's the yellow writing there. I can't read that. My I my eyes are not as good as they used to be. Um but yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've always liked Farrell. I've always liked Farrell Brewing Company. They've always done it for me. I like that kind of that funky branding on the can. Almost has got a, it's, it's like almost looks like a, a newspaper cartoon that's been hand drawn. Yeah, really good stuff. So, rating for this beer, then. Thank you very much, Travis, for the beer. Another belter, mate. Uh, good levels of carbonation, nice lacing on the glass, nice and hazy, fantastic aroma. Really orangey, punchy, peppery, spicy aroma and a great taste really really good beer really really good beer I'm gonna rate it I like that beer enough good old-fashioned West Coast double APA what's not to like I like that enough to give it a 9 out of 10 so 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!